Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is a removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for Factory Reset Protection. Now here with us today we have a Samsung Galaxy Tab A7, and this is a device that does indeed have the Google Account Lock enabled because as we can see here as we're going through the setup steps, we get to the screen that tells us that the tablet was factory reset, and to continue, we have to either verify the previous screen pin lock that was used, or if we tap on Use My Google Account instead, it'll pull up the secondary screen that tells us that the other option is to sign in with with a Google account that was previously used on the device. So over the years, we've been contacted by tons of customers asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information, or because they got scammed by buying it from a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the device was locked. At any rate, we're now making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to get the lock removed from this exact model without having to have any of the previous user's login info. It's a process that we do directly to the device while it's plugged into a computer, and the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection and we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet to perform the exact same procedure that we did here with this one. So, actually before starting the video, we had already done 99% of the work necessary to remove the lock just so we could keep the video as short as possible. The last step here is just to do a restart to the device. We left the lock in place at the last step just so that you guys could all see that the device was indeed locked, that this is really real, that we can actually do this, that we're not signing into our own account or pulling any other kind of trickery here, just so everyone knows that this is indeed legitimate and valid. So now, after the last step, which is restarting the device, we should be able to see that we can indeed get all the way through the setup steps without running into that Google lock page. All right, so we are all restarted and good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the blue arrow to start. We need to read and agree to Samsung's terms and conditions up first. Then they'll ask us about connecting to Wi-Fi, which we actually don't need, so I'm just gonna turn that off and skip it. And it's gonna ask us about copying apps and data, which we don't need to do. Then we have to read and agree to all of the Google services. We don't need a screen lock on the device, so we're going to skip that also. We also don't need a Samsung account, so we're going to say no to that. And it says we're all done, so when we tap our blue finish button there, we should be able to see that, yep, we've got the home screen loading up here. We have full access to all of the apps and settings and features, and this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While we're here, we're gonna pop into the settings real quick just to verify for everyone exactly what we are working with here. So when we go down to About Tablet, we can indeed see that we have a Galaxy Tab A7, and then that model number there, the SMT500. That is the specific model number of this device that we're working with here. So, if you have one of these Tab A7s and need help getting the Google Lock removed from it, we would love to assist you with that, so go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be able to be found right down in the video description, and we'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all of our details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for thousands of models of mobile devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. 
Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing here with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.